concern has been raised by Chief Executive Officer of the Wisinka Group, Andrew Mafood, that in the company's search for alternatives, it found that some are made from recyclable material but non-biodegradable and contain a compound called polypropylene. Polypropylene is a compound thermoplastic used in a variety of applications such as packaging for consumer products and plastic parts for various sectors, including the automotive industry. Project coordinator at the Jamaica Environment Trust, Lauren Creary, says she is not overly concerned that these alternatives will enter the country to be used in the food industry. Well, any, any item that is being made from recycled material would have had to go through um, certification and a rigorous process for it to be approved for use in the food industry. So um, I don't think that is too much of a concern, but there is a concern that uh, people will be bringing in these single-use plastic items that are not styrofoam and not polystyrene. So that is something that we hope the government will be able to address because that isn't a viable alternative to the styrofoam because it, isn't. it is not. Because it's know. not biodegradable. We were moving away from the single-use plastics um, and we want to be able to kind of change the, the waste stream, stop it at the source, and we, we don't really want the, the plastic items, even if it isn't styrofoam, being used as the, the food packaging. Mm -hmm. She was speaking on TVJ Smile Jamaica program Monday morning. In the meantime, Ms. Creary says the move from styrofoam will not be immediately noticeable as it is a long-term transition. She says JET expects to see changes toward the end of the year into next year. Ms. Creary says the agency will be carrying out its own public education campaign on the styrofoam ban starting this month. We are starting with our road tour at the end of this month and it just focuses on restaurants in Kingston and Montego Bay. So that's where we are starting our efforts. But we really want to keep up, keep up the messaging mm -hmm. and um, kind of sustain the, the public education and increase the awareness. Yeah. Ms. Creary also added that the ban on single-use plastics has also not had the desired effect. I think we could, we could be doing that. I'm still seeing bags still somewhere of different um, sizes, but uh, I think we will really see um, the statistics from International Coastal Cleanup Clean Day. Day. Um, our report will be re released um, later this month. There was not a significant change but I think as time goes on, we will, we will see. And hopefully yeah. the enforcement um, yeah. is ramped up. Yes. I saw that they had an enforcement drive recently. So, Gabrielle Thompson, Frontline News.